This is a very short video showing you how to apply the roll and cut contour on your design within Illustrator. To do this you'll need the, the built-in roll and verse work swatches open. If you're unsure about how to do this, please check out our YouTube. We have a video showing you how to import the built-in roll and swatches into your Illustrator. So we've got our logo ready to go. We can select certain parts of the job if needed. Um, so if you've got individual parts of design you want to cut, you can select them. But for this I'm just going to do a very basic, I'm going to put a cut line around everything. So we're going to select the whole job. We've got our roll and verse work swatch box open. We've got our outline stroke selected on the left. So all you do, the first option is a bright magenta, is the cut contour. Click on that and you'll see a pink line appear around your, your design. So at this point you've applied the cut contour. What you then have to do is apply the finished stroke possible. So whether you, you work in points, in millimetres, inches, centimetres, wherever it is, always select the lowest stroke possible. So in this instance it's 0.25 points. Select that and that now makes it a vectored cut point. So that is how you apply the cut line to your design. Very simple. What we always recommend is sometimes adding a bleed onto your artwork. Uh, this will eliminate any sort of tracking issues on your printer or any print and cut misalignment on your printer. So what we do is, so for instance, I'm gonna put, just show you on this V. So we go to object. Let me just change that to, it is. You go to object, offset path. And you can choose the bleed around your artwork. Obviously, something so intricate like this, you're going to have to minimise the bleed. Um, but just to show you how to do it, we're going to set a one mil bleed. So we press OK. And as you see there, it's got the pink line, which is your cut contour. And all you've done is created a one mil offset path of your job to create a bleed. So if there's any movement during print and cutting it will eliminate the white edges from your design. As always, if there's any questions regarding cut lines or anything regarding print, please get in contact over the usual channels.